Here I've documented the process where I've designed and built a vacuum photocopy stand. In case anybody want to wants to try to build one, if you uh, Google vacuum photocopy stand, you won't find one. Most commercial photo stands are just a piece of glass. You pick it up, put the photo underneath of it, and it's a, something that looks similar to this, but it's got a glass, and the glass has internal reflections, and it gets smudges, and it takes time to lower in, in the glass, and drop the glass down, and you, you get contact with the photo on the glass, makes some weird, you know, problems. This is the best way to do it, and like I said, you won't find this if you Google vacuum photocopy stand. This is something that's used in um, commercial applications for large offset printing for plates to hold them flat while they're putting the image on the plates and the negatives, you know, like a square foot or larger negatives. This basically allows you to put a photo on here and pull a vacuum, pull the photo down flat, take a picture of it. And my mother was a professional photographer for all her life, and she has thousands and thousands of pictures. If I used a hand scanner to digitize her photos, it would take decades. And this is the fastest way to do it with the highest resolution. And basically we're talking putting, and you can see over here on the side, lower left-hand corner, the pictures, uh, older pictures that have curls, you know, those need to be perfectly flat in order to make this method work. So, um, most of the, the, the time involved here was throwing away three prototypes getting to this point, which is why I wanted to document it. What I use is some easy to get stuff. This is a space saver tray, a couple lights that I didn't use, but you can use any light you want. And down below is like a little Rubbermaid tray that I use as a, a vacuum um, chamber, basically. And put a fan in that, pull a little vacuum, allowed to pull the negative down or the picture down on the platen. What I start out with is just flipping over this little space saver tray and folding the wings legs out to make wings where we're going to put the lights and that's about a 45 degree angle and you can see in the center here where I've marked little dots where the center is going to cut out and it's going to be centered over the vacuum tray that's underneath of it with the fan in it and uh, marked it in green so you can see a little bit better uh, when you put the tray on top you can actually see well that I'll put the next slide I'll put the uh, metal punched metal and you can get the punched metal basically at any kind of a uh, industrial catalog shop um, those have like eighth inch holes and you can put screws in those to pull it down against the plate, which is really nice. Uh, you can see with the green underneath of it, so that's where we're cutting out and this is a picture of the, uh, the white space saver tray with the middle center cut out. Uh, clean that up, paint it, works fairly well. Uh, in the space, in the, uh, the vacuum tray, you can see there's two holes in the bottom and the top on the edge. That's where two screws will go through and you can put some little hooks with screws on the sides to pull that plate up. And you can see the fans mounted in a corner and the little cord comes out of the hole conveniently where the handles were for the, 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 the tray, you know, the plastic tray to begin with. The fan is a 12 volt fan and it's over an amp. That's 12 watts. That's a lot for a fan. Uh -huh. uh, it's a little bit noisy but it pulls a really good vacuum. And I did, uh, you know, cut out and make sure there's absolutely, you get absolute area of the fan. Don't cut it short. And go ahead and just bolt it in any way you can get it in there. It won't vibrate. It won't screw up the picture. Um, this is a picture of the punch metal plate on top of the of the tray. Well, not on top of the tray, but in, on the space saver rack with the center cut out. And this is the space saver rack with the hole cut out in the center on top of the tray. So you can see how it's centered. You kind of have to get that in mind because when you get done, you have to put some silicone sealant on this and pull it all down. And um, basically, you can see the screw hole on the, on the bottom center and the top center where I can have a place to pull through to put a screw in and a couple screws on the side. This kind of gives you an idea of how the parts are going together. You got the tray and the fan, you got the space saver rack with the hole cut out in the center, and you got the punch metal tray on top. That's where the basically the uh, the, the vacuum will be pulled through. And here's uh, where you do you get like a 18 inches of piano hinge at the hardware store. Cut it off, put them on each side. This is double sticky taped on there, and eventually I put a piece of wood underneath of there and pulled that down, two screws. So you can mount any kind of lights you want on that. Um, basically, these were uh, battery powered LED lights that I was going to use, and they were not the same color. They were slightly off, so I couldn't use them. They're cheap, and that's what you get. And basically, it shows you how you mount them up. On this picture, I've got the cords. I've got a little cord coming down where um, I could put an optional foot pedal if I don't want to listen to the fan all the time. <laughs> And this is the most difficult part here. You got the tray on the bottom, which has a fairly smooth lip to seal. You've got this space saver tray in the middle, which is a bunch of bars. And on top of that, you got that hold plate, that punched plate. And those aren't going to go together evenly. I mean, it's just a stack nightmare. So what you have to do is put uh, silicone uh, uh, Teflon tape around the edge of the vacuum tray. And then you put a bead, fairly heavy, quarter-inch bead of silicone all the way around. And that tape will allow 
when the when the silicone adheres to the bars of the space saver tray it'll pull away and you'll be able to pull that bottom tray off and you won't have a problem so basically you can see how the, the space saver tray the bars are wedging into the silicone put another quarter inch bead on top of that all the way around and then when that dries like I said you can pull the bottom tray away to, to mount your screw holes you can see here where I dropped some finish nails through the holes in the platen you know, the punch pl metal plate and basically those will mark the edge so and you can see where it went through the hole in the side that I drilled on this finish nail so that lines the whole thing up so while it's drying to get some kind of a centering going on and that didn't have to be exact obviously but then you know when it pops up you can take the Teflon tape off put it back together and you run a screw through there and then you thread it into those eighth inch holes you just eighth inch screw eighth inch holes works out really well and this is your finished product here. As you can see, I didn't use the same lights. Those battery-powered LED lights, I decided to do something a little bit different. These are 13-watt fluorescents. 13-watt um, fluorescents, that's a piece of plastic rain gutter cut in half. <laughs> Painted the outside black, put aluminum foil tape on the inside. Works pretty good. Got a ballast down there. See the little fluorescent ballast on the front? $8.95 is what I paid for that a long time ago. Um, the laying around hadn't used it, so that's why I used these lights. Had the bulbs, had the ballast, and you can see I've got all the cords uh, r arranged with the camera on the tripod. And you can see the picture and the preview on the camera. So basically, you set that up, turn the vacuum on, put your picture down, take your shot, pull the next picture up, put it down. It's just basically plop, plop, plop. Take your picture. So anyway, hope that helps anybody who wants to build something like this. Um, just leave a comment if you need any more information.